For this video, we're going to be discussing equations of real-world situations. So we're going to be writing and solving equations that will model problems that would occur in the real world. So here's our procedure for how we're going to do this. We're going to start by defining our variables, which are going to be the unknown amounts in our problem. Then we're going to write an equation that models whatever situation we're dealing with. And then we're going to solve that equation. So we're going to start with example number one. Let's pause the video now, write down the example, and then start the video back up. So the problem says on their last test, Nick's grade was equal to 40 more, or 44 more, than one third of Jenny's score. If Nick scored a 76, what was Jenny's score? So what we need to do here first is think, well, what is our unknown? What don't we know? If we look at the last sentence of this equation, it says, if Nick scored a 76, what was Jenny's score? We don't know what Jenny's score was. So, our variable, our unknown, is Jenny's score. So I'm going to say we're going to use J to represent Jenny's score. It's what we're trying to find out. So now we need to write ourselves a equation to model this. So if we look, it says Nick's grade was equal. Okay, we're going to have an equal sign here. Okay, whatever Nick's grade is, was equal to 44 more than, which should tell us we're adding, one third, that's multiplying by a third, of Jenny's score, which we said was J. And we know Nick's score was 76. So the equation that we can come up with is 76 plus j, and it's hard to see, but j divided by 3. One third and dividing by 3 be, meaning the exact same thing. All right, so we have Nick's score, 76, is equal to 44 more than one third of Jenny's score. So how do we solve this? Well, we start by subtracting 44 from both sides. 76 minus 44 is 32, equals j divided by 3. Multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of my fraction. And we find out that Jenny got a 96 on the test. So my answer is 96 was Jenny's score. So all we did was define our variables, set up an equation, and then solve that equation. All right, here's example two. I'd like you to pause the video, write this down, try this problem, and then start the video back up. So example two says Ben has $450 in his bank account, which I spelled wrong, and he plans on, 70, save, uh, plans on saving $75 each week. Kayla has $1,000 in her bank account, and she spends $150 each week. After how many weeks will they have the same amount of money? So what is our unknown? What's our variable going to be in here? Well, if we look, we're trying to figure out after how many weeks. Okay, we're trying to figure out how many weeks. So, let's use W. Oh, maybe I should have written that down. Let's use W to represent the number of weeks. So now we need to set ourselves up an equation. For Ben, we're, we're going to write, oh, there's w equals number of weeks. We're going to write an expression for each one of our two students here, for Ben and Kayla. For Ben, we know that he has $450 in his bank account and he is saving $75 each week. Saving tells us that we are adding money into his account. So Ben's expression is going to look like 700 or 450 plus 75 W. And for Kayla, she has a thousand dollars and she's spending 150. Spending being subtraction. So Kayla's looks like this: a thousand minus 150 times W. So now where does our equal sign go? Well, it says we want to know after how many weeks will they both have the same amount of money. So when will 450 plus 75 
equal 1,000 minus 150W. This equation right here models the situation when Ben and Kayla each have the same amount of money. So now we just need to solve this equation. We want to start by getting all our variables on one side. So we can add 150W to both sides. All right, we end up on this side with 450 plus 225W. On the other side, we are left with 1,000. Then we subtract 450 from both sides. We end up with 225W equals 550. Next step is to divide both sides by 250. Or sorry, not 250, 225. And we end up with W equals 2. So our answer is 2 weeks. After 2 weeks, Ben and Kayla will have the same amount of money. So whenever we see same, that is telling us that's where our equal sign is. So this equation here models our, our expression, our, our situation, and then we just solve it to get an answer of two weeks. All right, let's move on to example number three. Let's pause the video here and write it down. So this problem is a little more complicated. It's a little longer. It says Muhammad and Wesley each mow lawns on the weekends. Muhammad spends $10 on gas and charges $15 per lawn. Wesley spent, spends $8 on gas and charges $6 per lawn. The boys each mow the same number of lawns. At the end of the weekend, how they put all their money together. If they end up with $140 altogether, how many lawns did they mow? So we got to find our variable first. And if we look here, it's asking us how many lawns did they each mow? So we are going to use x to represent the number of lawns. Say so x is our number of lawns that each person, each boy mowed. So now we need to write an equation. And once again, we're going to write an expression for both Muhammad and Wesley. We know Muhammad is spending, which is subtraction, $10 on gas, and charging, which is adding, $15 per lawn. Same idea, Wesley is spending $8 on gas and charging $6 per lawn. So we can come up with the following expressions. For Muhammad, the amount of money that he has is 15 times the number of lawns minus the $10 he spends on gas. The same idea for Wesley, it's $6 times the number of lawns he mows minus $8 on gas. And because it sends, says that they each mow the same number of lawns, we can use the same variable for both of them. Now we want, it says that they put all of their money together and have $144. So how do we represent them putting all of their money together? The answer to that is that we are adding what Wesley got to what Muhammad got, and together they have $140. All right, we're just combining all of Muhammad's money with all of Wesley's money. So we got to first combine our like terms. I've got 15x and 6x, which add together to get 21x. And I've got negative 10 and negative 8, which add together to get minus 28. That adds together to get 140. If I add 28 to both sides... I get 21x equals 168. If I do that division, 168 divided by 21, I get x equals, let's see, I don't know how to do that one in my head. One sixty-eight divided by twenty-one gives us an answer of eight. So my answer is that they each mowed eight lawns. So we just set up our situation, our equation to model the situation. This is how much money Muhammad had. This is how much money Wesley had. 
we add them together to get $140. And then we solve that to figure out the answer is eight longs. So your try it problem for tonight says, at her job, Kiana makes $750 per week, plus a commission of 10% on all of her sales. If she makes $1,000 in one week, how much were her sales? So you need to do this problem in your notes and bring it into class tomorrow.